create a slip knot. Pop your hook into the loop and chain four. Slip stitch into the first chain, chain two, and in the hole that we've created, do 11 double crochets. You'll finish with 12 double crochets as the first chain counts as one. Once you've done your 11 double crochets, don't complete the circle, just cut the yarn and add in your new colour by slip stitching it in. We're now creating the next row of the granny square, so you're going to chain two, yarn over, put your hook into the first stitch, pull up the yarn. Yarn over again, put your hook into the same stitch and pull up the yarn. Now yarn over and pull through all five stitches on the hook and then chain one. You're going to repeat this but you're going to pull up the yarn three times before pulling the yarn through all the loops and chaining one. Chain one. So you're going to repeat this all the way around until you have 12 sort of puffs. Now put your hook through the last chain from the chain two you did at the beginning. Cut your yarn and add your next colour by slip stitching it in. We're now on the last section of the granny square so we're going to be creating the square shaping. So we'll be adding corners and I'll show you how to do that. So you're going to chain two and you're going to do two double crochets into the space between the puffs. So the first chain will act as one double crochet. Then in the next space you'll do three double crochets. We're now onto the corner section, so you're going to do three double crochets. Three chains and three more double crochets into the same space and that has created your corner. So now you're just going to repeat this all the way around of doing three double crochets into one space, three double crochets into the next, and then the corner section which is three double crochets, chain three, and three double crochets into that same space. Once you're done, you're going to put your hook through the last chain on the chain two that you did at the beginning, cut your yarn and then just pull your yarn through like a slip stitch to complete it. And that is your granny square done. So once you've done all your granny squares, you are then going to join them together. This shows nine granny squares, but I actually did 12. 
And now I'm just joining these squares together. So I've cut off a long bit of yarn with a darning needle and just really simply sewing the squares together and I'll show a close up in a bit. So here you can see I'm just sewing through each loop on each square and I'm going through the top loops. Once you've done your first two squares, you're just going to add on the next two and keep going, joining them together. So I've joined them all together in one direction and now I'm just going to go in the other direction doing the same stitch. So now I'm just tying off all my ends and cutting them so they're nice and neat on the inside. So you can see here I have four rows um, instead of three that I showed earlier. So 12 squares all together. And using the same technique that I did to sew the squares together, I'm just placing the opposite sides together and sewing them. Then just around the top of the bottle holder I just did a row of single crochets to make the edge nice and neat. So I'm just going to show you how I created the bottom of the bottle holder. Annoyingly, I was filming in the other colour, but my camera like messed up. So it's basically the same thing. I'm just showing you in a different colour. So you're going to create a magic ring. And then we're going to do six single crochets round. One, two, three four, five, six, and then you're going to close the ring by pulling the tail and then to join it together, if you can find it, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, so to join it together you're going to go in that sixth single crochet which is the first one that you made squeeze your hook in and create a single crochet and this is the first stitch of your next round so I'm just going to pop a stitch marker on there to mark it so we know when to finish that round. So in this next row you're just going to do two single crochets in each stitch. So we'll end up with 12 stitches. So we've done one in that same stitch, 
quite tricky to find. You're just going to do another single crochet. And then in the next stitch, two single crochets. The next one, two single crochets. And then just repeating that round and you'll end up with 12 stitches at the end. So back to the beginning, so I'm going to pop the stitch marker off. Now this is the start of the third row, so I'm going to pop my hook in there, create a single crochet, put my stitch marker back on, So for this next row, we're doing one single crochet, which we've just done. And the next stitch, we'll do two single crochets together. And we're alternating that round. So one single crochet. Two together in that same stitch. One in the next. Two in the next, repeating that all the way round, and you should have eighteen stitches at the end. So now we're back at the beginning, pop your stitch marker off and this is the start of the next row. So start with that single crochet, stitch marker back on and then in this next row we're going to do two single crochets in the two stitches. So one in one stitch, one in the next. And then on the third stitch, we'll do the two single crochets together in that same stitch. So we've already got one. In the next stitch, we'll do one. Then in the next stitch, we'll do two together. And then just repeating that round. So one single crochet in one stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch, and then in the next one, two single crochets together. So you might be noticing a pattern. So for every row, you increase the number of single crochets that you do before that increase. So I'll keep going round and then I'll show you the next row. So now we're at the next row. So I'm going to take that stitch marker out. Do a single crochet in that stitch and then pop the stitch marker back on. This next row we're going to do three single crochets and then the increase of two single crochets in the same stitch. So we've already done one. We'll do one in the next one, one in the next one and then two together in the next one. So repeating that round. So we're now on the next row. So I'm going to take the stitch marker out, do a single crochet, pop the marker back on. And for this next row, we'll do four single crochets and then our increase. So we've already done one, two, three, four, and then our increase of two together, and then just repeating that round. Three, four, and then two together. 
So for the next three rows, I'm just going to pop on the screen what you have to do. And you should end up with nine rows all together, but you can do more or less depending on how big your bottle holder is looking. Once you've finished your nine rows, you can then cut your yarn, take your stitch marker out, and then I'm just gonna do a slip stitch to neaten it. And then back to our normal colored bottle holder. So once you've completed your circle, you're gonna turn your bottle holder inside out and your circle inside out, so the sort of right sides facing. And then you're just gonna sew them together like you can see on the video. Then when you turn everything the right way round, it should look nice and neat. So now we're creating the strap of the bag. So you're just gonna do a slip knot and chain eight or as many chains as you want the width of your strap. And now you're going to do a half double crochet from the second chain from the hook and repeat this down the rest of the row. Then once you get to the end of the row, you're just going to chain two, then turn your work and continue doing half double crochets down the rest of the row. And you're just going to keep repeating this until you get your desired strap length. Once you've finished creating your strap, you can just attach it to your bag. So again, with a darning needle and some yarn, I just weaved it through a, quite a few times to make sure the strap is super secure and strong. 